Okay, so um, we're all gathered here today because we've had a lot of questions since uh, TLC has discontinued our show and we just thought we'd keep on going. And so this is a question and answer session that um, is specifically to answer a lot of your questions that we've had on Facebook. So thanks for asking and we'll get started. Our wonderful, beautiful Madeline is going to be the one answering, asking all of the questions. So, you guys ready? <laughs> okay, sure. let's go. Madeline, what do we got? Okay, the first question is from Christina Smalley. If there was to be a movie about your lives, who would play each of you? <laughs> Can we oh, figure this out oh. at one point? Uh, I, want, I want Reese Witherspoon. That would be awesome. <laughs> I'm Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who take Brad? Pitt? If if he's gonna play Brad Pitt, <laughs> can I play myself? <laughs> <laughs> I'll Funny. take I'll take <laughs> Jennifer Goodwin. Um, I don't know. Jennifer, Jennifer Garner. Garner. Jennifer Garner. Mm -hmm. That's because you have a crush on Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no, no character very well. Okay, who is she? Aniston. Okay, she's yeah, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. Okay. <laughs> How did Brady propose to each wife? <laughs> when Brady proposed to me, I we went up into the mountains, um, kind of where we went for our first date, and then he asked me to marry him up there. He got on one knee. It was right at the base of that big rock mountain thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is romantic. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brady proposed to me his dad's office. So romantic. <laughs> yes. It was really romantic. What makes it romantic is he had written a poem. He had the poem rolled up and the ring was around the, the paper, the poem. And then he also had a, a rose. And he asked me to marry. Um. <laughs> what Nomi said. <laughs> your mom's house. Yeah, we we went for a walk kind of behind my mom's house and um but he didn't get down on one knee. Did you? I don't I thought I did. I don't think you did. Hmm. But um yeah, it was, there was a really pretty sunset and um I thought it was romantic and then you didn't. Um I don't think you actually said will you marry me? I think you just said, I've got a ring for you, and I said, don't ask me yet, and so uh, you didn't ask me, but then I shocked you by saying one day, yes, I'll marry you, and so he put the ring on my finger, my right hand, by accident, <laughs> and I said, can I have it on the other one? I've been waiting a long time for this, <laughs> and so he, he put it on my other hand, and we just went down to the new church site that they were building a new church in our community and so we went down there and he put it he put the ring on my finger on the left on, and he switched it and put it on the left so <laughs> if you could go anywhere in the world on vacation where would you go Mediterranean cruise would be great but I want to go to Japan and I really want to go to, on a cruise to Alaska I'm taking Robin with me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to travel all over the place. There's oh, so many yeah. things I want to see and do, and I'm it's so excited our kids would get to go places. And okay, Blair Brophy asks, have you ever considered reaching out to other TV networks to continue your show if TLC is not willing? I can handle that one. Yeah. <laughs> we, um, yeah, we're actually trying to, um, well, we're going to do our own YouTube channel, so we'll keep doing this, and hopefully um, another network or TLC will revisit us. I mean, that's our hope. We would love it. And, um, and I have been released from contract from TLC, so I can legally try to pursue 
other avenues. So we're trying. Many people have asked if you guys are still planning on moving to Washington or moving at all. I think we all want to move. Um, away from where we are, we just haven't really decided exactly where that is. And I don't necessarily think that it, we've settled on Washington. Although, I think if the opportunity opened up that we could, we'd probably jump at the chance. Yeah. Heather White asks, has the show changed your family in any way? I think it has. Yeah, I think Taylor, I think, said it best that um, she thinks that it's worth it because it's drawn the family closer, and I, I think it really has. You know, as America got to see firsthand, you know, a lot of our dirty laundry got aired, and when it gets out there, you got to clean it because we're not going anywhere. None of us are leaving, and uh, and so we were able to resolve a lot of issues, and I think that we've gotten a lot closer. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah. I think we really have. Jessica Hill Smith asks. Are you still feeling pressure from your former church to move away from the community? <laughs> oh, I think they would be more happy than ever if we moved at this point in time. <laughs> With that said, um, yeah, there's there's a lot that they would probably rather us out, but there's a lot of people who love us and are just fine with us staying here. So I think the best thing is still is if we were to move, but we do have a lot of wonderful neighbors who love to have us here. So. Right? Yes. Okay, Mel Stanford asks, why did, the sh why did they cancel your show? We love it here in the UK. Um, TLC wanted to have the uh, viewers, the number of viewers, be over a million, and our show was around 900,000, so it just wasn't quite as high as they wanted it to be. And it, they took a long time in deciding whether or not to cancel us or not, but then they finally decided to try something new. Kate Vickery asks, how is college going for the girls? I know Lauren is loving college. She's She's in Spain right now with the study abroad program, and she's having a great time. And Hannah's got a year left to get her philosophy degree. And Kimberly is trying to decide what she wants to go into still. And I think she just feels the lack of direction more than anything. And so she's struggling a little bit just to figure out what she wants to study. Yeah. Um, Madeline. Madeline is really, I know she's enjoying college, she feels really busy at times, a lot of homework, but I think for the most part she's enjoying it. How has the screening going for Rhonda? I think oh, it's in reference to your cancer the scare. breast cancer. Um, I did go and get a follow-up screening and it came back um, with no change. So. It's going very well. I have, so far, I've had no new symptoms, and I, life is great. <laughs> <laughs> We're very, very happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How are the moms and Brady doing with it, getting closer for different wives in different stages of life, like empty nesters and new moms? Mm. You know, it's hard having your kids grow up and move on in their life, but at the same time, it's exciting. It's exciting to see where their lives are taking them. Carly just moved to Montana, and Josh is out on his mission. And Madeline, who knows how long she'll be at home. And grandkids are kind of nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, baby Huck is. I love that boy. <laughs> I don't like my kids growing up at all. <laughs> I mean, I do at all. I got a grandson out of it, and, and it's wonderful to see the kids growing up and uh, making an identity for themselves, but it's really hard for me to um, to let go, and I think that's probably a typical response, and I'm sure the other wives that have kids all adult, Rosie and Robin, um, share in that. It's, it's tough to see the kids grow up and become their own people. Yeah. But I want them to experience life.
life, you know. I I think I will be very sad when they move out, but um, I don't want them to always be stuck at home. And yeah. so it's kind of a catch-22. Oh, we got a crying baby. Camry, come bring her to mom. <laughs> Speaking of new babies, how do you feel about it, Noni? They asked. I love having a new baby. Um, Show them. She, she brings a sense of joy to our family. How is the grandbaby? Uh, he's doing really well. He's He's growing and he's a miracle. He is. Yeah. And Carly's just a really good mama. Carly and Jake are doing really well. Um, they're really good parents to Huck, and they just moved to Montana, and they're starting their life up there. Okay, Chanel Johnston asks, "What is the most annoying thing Brady does?" Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Cleaning his clothes on the floor. You took mine. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving his clothes on the floor. Yeah. I don't mind the clothes as much as the wet towels. The wet towels on the floor, or the bed, or the chairs. Because <laughs> that bothers me the most. <laughs> well, man, this is easily remedied. I'll be perfect. I can start picking up my clothes and towels. <laughs> I'm glad we had this Medi Margaretha Christensen asks, are Brady and Rhonda still going to try to adopt? Oh, I would love to adopt still. I think right now our focus is getting you graduated and finances are really quite tight right now. So um, that has been a hindrance. Well, and it's um, the more we investigated it, the harder we found it's going yeah. to be in as long as we live in Utah, um, because of the cohabitation law, it, um, while we can cohabitate, we can't adopt while we cohabitate. Right. Right. And so in Utah, it would be quite the fight. 